Hello and welcome to the show that teaches you the things your parents and teachers are too afraid to. The Helios blog. Today, Andrew Tate annihilates these woke girls and teaches them the truth about not wanting children. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong and independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. A life without children is, is vapious, and it's inane, and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of women and don't give a second, right. don't give a solitary shit. Indeed. You know, if you're 52, and you're past it, with no grandchildren, in a house by yourself, and all your friends have grandchildren, this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? No! And that's what these girls don't understand. The priorities are all wrong, because, you know, womanism taught them that, you know, you should be a strong, independent, don't need no man girl. And if you're an idiot and believe it, well, a fool and his money are soon parted, aren't they? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children. It was my father and, and eight more. They all had a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. I stood there and I looked at my 93-year-old grandmother and there was a room, a whole room full of maybe 70 people that came from that one woman. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah. That nobody cared about her career. Nobody asked what job she did. Nobody asked how many times she went to the club. Nobody asked if she had, had time to go to festivals. No, you had 70 sentient beings, including myself, full of life from one woman who dedicated her. That's it. I mean, again, what they say is the, like... A girl gets most happiness out of children, family, relationships. Imagine being 50 years old and having no children, no familial bonds. How psychologically destructive that is to a girl. Just imagine that. Yourself to being a mother and, 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 a good, and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're going to work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're not going to be suicidal alone with a cat, then you're dumb. You Indeed. You are dumb. I'm not you are dumb. Invest in Chewy. Bring the asteroid. All these women are sitting here saying, oh, no, I don't want to listen. Indeed. I don't want to listen to a man. I don't want kids. So I just want to walk sex in the city and drink martinis and go on a beach and... What kind of life is that? That's like the Obviously the worst possible life, the most destructive, the most idiotic. But these girls don't know that. Worst life. That's, that's not even that. real. That's, that's why being taught when you're young is important. Because if you're not, then you're an idiot when you're older. That's I never said real. that. I never so said I didn't want oh, now they didn't say it. Everyone. No, Stop I the cap. Time to do the backpedaling. Pull it back. Pull it back. You can pull it back. The happiest really women on earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the true. happiest people on earth. I guarantee it. Your that's your true. mothers. Ask your own mother. Do you yeah. regret having me? Yeah. She's gonna say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. So now you're gonna sit here and you're gonna end your own oh, bloodline. Yeah. All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber-toothed <laughs> fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets. Out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going Idiot. To fucking oh, Remorka, to have a fucking <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Every absolutely agree. Exactly. Exactly. And, again, Andrew here is making a biological argument, right? He's saying, You are the last of your kind. If you don't reproduce, your bloodline ends. And the whole evolutionary history that went back to the first cell, you're throwing it out the window. For what? For some pictures on Instagram? Of course it's stupid. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it. Just for you to exist. 
for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're exactly, it's very stupid. And we know it. And everyone knows it. Anyone with a pulse knows it. A selfish fuck. Fuck that, you should all have kids. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, big shout out to Fresh and Fit. That's a clip from their podcast featuring Andrew Tate. Check them out on Indeed. YouTube, Fresh and Fit. Um, your guys' reaction to that, Hensley. Call me selfish, but my passions and my dreams do come before children. Exactly. And yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. The idiot doubles down. Um, what is the expression? If the idiot isn't prideful, they're not idiot enough. I think it's also completely invalid. When you're old, you're not going to be with your kids. Your kids are not by your side. When you're old, when you're 90. It's not about the kid. Okay. It's not about you. That's what this narcissist doesn't understand. It's not about you. It's about your bloodline, idiot. They're not by your side every day. They're gone. They have their own family. Exactly. They're the best thing that happened to you part of you going on and living their own life even if they don't give a damn about you do you not understand that idiot be like oh i need to produce kids i need to do this i need to have a big ass family you're gonna be alone either way Why no you're not the greater population of children that come from you the greater likelihood that one of them is not going to be an asshole and will actually help you <laughs> And do you really think that this social network of people related to you is is worse than the the you know government bought safety net that are uh, is you know t totally cares about you hires workers that don't give a damn about you to barely look at you once per day so that they can work their minimum wage a slightly higher job nursing home style why not be happy in the fact no, that you had a successful true. career You're not gonna be alone. and you put yourself up there? That's what a man wants to do, brainwashed idiot. Instead of like focusing on like, oh, I need a perfect family. Many of you seem to not care about what men are attracted to in a woman. How do you expect a man to ever want to commit to you long term if you don't care about pleasing him? I don't know. Oh, Who do you think is going to be happier? A woman who's retired with zero descendants or a woman with 70 descendants? I think it definitely depends. Not ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yes. Right now, when I have all the reproductive potential in the world, my solipsistic brain is going to answer it depends. But when you're 70 years old with no descendants, you'll be singing a different tune, Mrs. Canary. Mrs. Dress Like Chun Li to be attractive to the camera of biologically, physically fit, attractive girl in a video game that men like. Hmm, I wonder why you're dressed like that. Must be for yourself. Every woman wants her, a child. Her grandchildren love her. They love spending time around her. She gets. A hold on, person. hold on, hold on. She. Indeed, you're that shitty person you're talking about. She gets to help raise her, her, her kids' kids. She gets to spend time around them all the time. That's the light of these women's worlds. Obviously, Those she's going to be women. happier. Yeah, but it's not always the case that these people... These yes, that there are exceptions to a genuine, generally accepted rule means that all people are exceptions. You're an idiot. Congratulations. Grandchildren and their kids are around them all the time. Sometimes they don't want anything to do with them. Exactly. So regardless if they have like 70 So are you kids, telling me you're the kind of woman that wouldn't want no, anything to do with No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there are. No, no. She's arguing for the one out of 10,000 exception. Because, you know, we have to... Be, because one person out of 10,000 is, uh, is different from the norm, we have to go against. We have to argue in bad faith disaster there's not People many women there. but let's that's not <laughs> many women so that you're dismissing the fact that there is women that's out fine there that but they can they can have those views. but my the issue is that we want to make it clear that that's what does bring happiness and i think a lot of young girls don't understand that later on it's really an important thing i think a really important thing is that Hen hensley has been bringing this up like we are changing as a society yes you're saying that oh girls now like we think that we can be independent and then 30 years down the line, we're the not change be can happy. be in a bad direction, exactly. too. Yeah, is that exactly. change a good thing? 
Exactly. So. We are already so overpopulated. Like. Oh my lord! The propaganda, the overpopulation propaganda. Do you know why that exists? It's because the elites don't want you to reproduce. They want themselves to reproduce. They want you to be a idiot mass that. <sighs> The elites want you not to reproduce so they can have more resources. Congratulations. You're an idiot. Yes. Believe what they tell you. Believe everything you're taught everywhere. No, there are, there's never any wrong information. Everything your teachers taught you from a young age, it's all real and true. Never ever question. Idiot. Economically, children are not great. That's such a lie. Do you not, you, the UCSB housing <laughs> exam is like a great example. Oh, there are so example. many, so many Stop kids reading. without housing at UCSB you that should, need should it. You, drop out of, you should drop out of UCSB then to make room for the Stupid people uh, just uh, not having kids. <laughs> for, maybe, for the other maybe UCSB should just stop enrolling so many people then and yeah, make UCSB the admission standards the higher. That's definitely true, but That's it's also like did. there's so many people who are on this earth. The, okay. I don't think she understands how much space the Earth actually has. She's just brainwashed. It's just whatever the professors at university tell you, that's what you parrot back, and you think that that's reality. When really, those people have an agenda. Those women's studies professors that have brainwashed you, they have an agenda. Their agenda is to turn you into a useful idiot that doesn't have children and is miserable. For what? So that, th or you're so, such a harpy after your education, quote unquote, that you annihilate any chance for a good relationship, divorce, and now congratulations. You and your ex-husband both pay into the government's coffers. Ooh, you're both unhappy, miserable, your children's lives are ruined. But the government gets more money. Who's the useful idiot here? What's your What's your point? The point is that we don't need more people and stupid people just keep having kids. You're the one that's the stupid one. Be the change you want to see in the world. Idiot. We, we definitely stupid do need people. to continue yes. producing who, people. Who are those stupid people? Mm, I'm, I can think of a few. Like? I can think of several solipsistic examples from my own personal life therefore i generalize that to the population congratulations proving every single rp point from the start of the rp forum in around the year 2000 till now congratulations you're the next generation of idiot like you wow. ah yes great we start with the ad hominems yes they are the idiots because they don't go with what your woman studies professor says you should do. Mm, yes, very good logic. Perfect. Uh, why, why do you say why, that? Why is he stupid? Yeah. What why I'm is saying, he stupid? What I'm getting down to is basically like, Yo, you by, guys are by going the way, off yeah, this yeah, very... Yeah, yeah. Ad hominem attack. I can't beat you in a logical argument, so I'm going to attack your character. Very good, very great. Totally not a logical fallacy. Let's keep it. Let's keep it respectful. Yeah, this is this that, is not a dumb. This is not a dumb man. Well, no, you, that's, okay. that's you, not Chase. respectful. No, but hold on. This is not a dumb man. That's and a that, complete ad hominem straw man attack. Let, let's not let's not resort to like Chase said ad hominem. Hey, let's go back to the schoolyard. No, you're stupid. You said something that I don't agree with. No, you're dumb. Facts. <laughs> just if, just if, because if you disagree with him. Attack his argument. Yeah, just because he disagrees with you doesn't make him stupid. Will you let me or are you going to keep talking over us like you've been doing? You see? Yup. Masculine, aggressive, annoying, and prideful, and stupid. So here's... Okay. Doesn't know reality. Doesn't want to know reality. Proud to not know and not understand and not want to know. Perfectly well-raised daughter here. Her parents should be so proud. During this whole podcast, though. G just go ahead. I have not been talking over you. Go ahead. Okay. What I'm saying is, you have very traditional values, and we are progressive women. Ah, I see. So if you have traditional values, you're stupid. I see. 
Yes. So exactly what I said is correct. Y we disagree with your women's studies professor, therefore we are stupid. Great logic. Yep, that's, that's exactly how the world should run. We should only say what your woman's studies professor wants us to say, yes? And then we'll be accepted by your cabal of in intellectuals, yes? And we believe in our dreams and our passions and our moral, and we also know that, that we can't do that while we're having- Hens, attack! Kids and while we're under a man's thumb, so yeah, we're growing our own different way. And you're saying that, yeah, we should have kids and have 70 more people and keep overpopulating the world, which is already, like, crumbling and not... Our it's not crumbling. The American empire is crumbling because of women like you that don't know their place and are disrespectful and stupid. And I don't mean that you're, like, intellectually inferior. I mean you are ignorant of reality because you've been brainwashed to be ignorant. Our economy and everything is not being you're a mouthpiece for disinformation you are a sheep brainwashed to not understand reality and are being used as a useful idiot for the benefit of people that are not you and the sad part is you don't even know it you think you're on the right side that's how deep this goes it is literally an assault on you and you don't even know it that's the true embarrassment here able to keep up with us right but the ah yes we can't intellectually keep up with you because we don't agree yes very good the, oh, the, the girls that are having kids there's a lot of girls at ucsb right that would have kids from just having a one night stand. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, I mean, it's not super common, but that's when it happens. What's your question? Th that's not a question. It's just, don't you think you should look at that and say, like you said, stupid people. I don't think I'm the stupid person here in the situation. I think the stupid people are the ones that are going out and having these one night stands and getting pregnant. So you're saying that like the only people who should be having kids are people in the nuclear family where the woman is submissive. I mean, that is the system that has worked for thousands of years and created stable society. This girl doesn't even understand what... Okay. Actually, the nuclear family is an American invention in the 1950s. Before the 1950s, people didn't have the nuclear family. Do you know what they actually had? It's called the extended family. The nuclear family is meant to sell more houses. So no, traditional values in the extended family is the old system that has, and, and that old system has been present for millennia. Now, not that someone of your intellectual capacity even knows what the word millennia means, but for your information, millennia means thousands of years. And why should a system that has worked successfully and stably for 5,000 years be all thrown out the window because you feel, feel, emotionally feel that what you believe, that what you've been brainwashed to believe is correct? I didn't say that. That's but I do, I do think that in a family, that's when you should have kids. Okay. Why, why would you have kids? It's, it's really funny that the girls are laughing at this. Oh, what a laughable concept. Having children in a family? Oh, how could you? Oh, you're evil. You bad man. How dare you say that? A woman's studies professor says that any way of having children is okay. Single mommy, surrogate, um... Multiple relationships, polyamory, everything is okay, everything goes. Who cares about the children as long as they're hard? Disaster. Like, obviously, you don't need to be married to have kids, but what why would you have kids with some random person? isn't healthy, though? I feel like maybe you've had some really good examples in your life where... Oh, look, another ad hominem attack. Very clever, very good. Great girl. Just get out of here. Like, lordy lord. Like, you can look at, like, 
an example of your look family. look and she's being more and more disrespectful too and she and she thinks she's slick too because she's uh you know she's speaking in a polite tone well now she's she's uh, throwing the polite tone away again this is a child this girl acts like a 10 year old you're an idiot you don't have the experience to even be speaking right now the life experience you know nothing except what you've been brainwashed to believe. And you deign to tell people that are your superiors what they should be doing. Family and say like, yeah, this is how I grew up. This is what yeah. I believe. But there's plenty of people who are getting together and in families are unhappy and that's going to reflect in their children. Yes. Everything is about happiness. Everything. All about feelings. Feelings are totally not fleeting and up and down. No stability is required. It's all about feelings. Disaster. Children, and that's going to just continue a family and generational line that I think lots of people should be broken, but they keep having kids because that's the only thing they need. Can I, can I just say, guys, this is exactly what she has been taught in university. She paid like 30,000 US dollars, convert that to your currency, to learn this. To a benefit or detriment? You tell me. No. Let me know in the comments. About how many single moms there are out there. Do you think that raising kids as a single mom is a good thing for the son or daughter? I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. And you can be a single but mom. Is <laughs> Spoken like a person that doesn't understand anything about statistics. From a nuclear family. Enjoy your cats, exactly. You know, you know what a lot of these unfelt, unhealthy families have going on? What? The women are feminists, and they don't... Indeed. ...like submitting to the men. <laughs> That's right, Chase. This causes an insane amount of unhappiness So women need to be submissive to men in order to have a happy life and happy children. Yes! You don't know this? Okay. Let's quote Patrice O'Neill. Happy man is a happy relationship. An unhappy, a uh, happy woman is a miserable man. And I mean, of course. <sighs> I think, I think men, and this is what Let's we've communicated. This is what we've communicated. This is what we've communicated on previous podcasts. I think men need to earn submission from their wives learn how to take care of their wives, learn how to provide for their families, learn how to effectively lead their women. I think when men do this... Where do they learn that skills? College? Hold on. Definitely. No, that's where you learned your idiotic behavior. No, that's not where men learn it. Not college. Hold on, hold on. I think when men effectively do this, it creates very happy and healthy family dynamics. The healthiest families that Indeed. I've seen where the husband and wife have... A happy and healthy marriage they're regularly having sex neither of them resent one another they raise healthy kids with solid values these families they have a traditional masculine feminine dynamic going on i came from a family my mom did not want to submit to my dad it created an insane amount of tension in the household and there were so many moments in time where my dad needed to assert frame and lead my mother and he didn't and it created crazy amounts of tension what situations were those you see? Oh, uh, now it's now it's uh, time to therapize because she didn't just study women's studies. She also studied psychology. So she she knows how to tell you what to do. She she knows. Ending her bloodline so she can dance on men she clearly hates for money. Exactly. I'm not sure how personal I want to get on a, a podcast like this talking about my parents' marriage, but I will say there were times when my mom was was physically ill she was dealing with illness she would be emotionally spiraling out of control when it came to things that my dad were was doing in the marriage that she didn't like uh things that the neighbors were doing things that were happening with their mortgage all sorts of different stuff she would she would make poor financial decisions all the time my dad would try and convince her to not do them she would do them anyways and it would bite us in the ass down the line my parents had to foreclose on a home and we lost a lot of what we had because of my mother's poor financial decisions. And my dad tried telling her, don't do this. And she said, no, she didn't want to submit to his leadership. His leadership would have saved us. And she caused us a world of hurt as a result. 
And this is why that traditional dynamic can work. I'm not saying that like, look, like, like one of the reasons why women don't want to submit to men is because men are unworthy of leading women at times. Like there's a lot of shitty guys out there who don't know how to take care of their woman. They don't know how to take care of their family effectively. And in those instances, women don't want to submit. And it makes sense why. Wait, but hold on. Okay, you want to you want to leave? You have to leave. What's the situation? I have to leave. So change. Be, because Let's go. because she's uncomfortable. Oh, because of the conversation or No, I have to I have to leave the room. That's why. Well, is what, there anything you, you want to say to me? I mean, I I don't have anything that I want to address with you right now. Well, okay, you talked about you said that women are treated unfairly in society. That was the big thing that you said, right? Is that why you came down here? Uh, I don't remember that part of the conversation. It's okay. You can go if you want to. Okay. Are you going because of the conversation or what's up? No, no, I just have. Yeah, something came up and I, I have to leave. Uh, what is to be at? The strip club? <laughs> <laughs> I should, but I mean, my friend is here. She can still strip me. Wait, did you say you should? You should be stripping right now? I should, but. Are you a stripper? No, no. <laughs> Disaster. Okay, yep, that's a girl who's raised right. All right, we're going to end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian L, Tom and Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, and Brian. Shout out to you, most recent Patreon subscriber. Thank you. If you want coaching, message me at the Helios blog at gmail.com. Uh, just book a session. Buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. And my Patreon can be found at patreon.com slash the Hedius blog. Thank you so much, guys, for listening, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.